I want to know if you think Mayor White is nuts. If he's cuckoo. Have you heard what's going on? If you haven't, I'll repeat it and you can discuss it here. Here's a letter from Mike White sent to George Forbes. Dear Mr. Forbes, over the past 10 days, there have been assertions by the local media that the Cleveland office of the NAACP has received over 150 complaints from citizens regarding inappropriate behavior on the part of Cleveland police officers. My staff has had discussions with your executive director, Pauline Tarver, and in fact had scheduled a meeting with her to discuss the issues. This meeting, however, was canceled and to my knowledge has not been rescheduled. Therefore, I'm requesting that the NAACP transmit a copy of any complaints against police officers in the Cleveland Police Division so that they can be appropriately investigated. I would ask that you transmit this information directly to my attention. I will work with the Office of Professional Standards to ensure that there is an expeditious investigation and disposition of all complaints. If you have any questions, call LaVon Sheffield McLean. Following is a quote from Mayor White. Well, let me, let me get to George Forbes' letter. <laughs> this is fun. Fun stuff. Dear Mr. White, you really don't want to get in a fight with me. Trust me, you really don't. You cannot win. I don't fight fair, and I'm not afraid, and you can't intimidate me as you've done to many others. Apparently, the people of Cleveland are beginning to recognize... Pardon me. Hmm. Apparently, the people of Cleveland are beginning to recognize that you're much sicker and more unstable than they'd previously realized. As to your request of me, please go blank yourself. The ubiquitous, well, we'll use a euphemism. Please go have sex with yourself. Sincerely, Mr. Forbes. Please feel free to call a press conference and release this. Where is it? Somewhere in my pile of stuff. I have Mayor White saying something. Uh, I want the one in particular, this one. Listen to this one, and listen to how he qualifies his statements. You can say a lot of things about me, but I'm not completely stupid, and I haven't gone insane yet. Yet. You heard what he said. He hasn't gone insane yet. So there's absolutely no logical reason, no credible reason, and no political reason for me to want to, to uh, orchestrate something in the middle of all this. I have absolutely nothing to, to gain in this process. Well, I don't know what you're trying to do. Because we all know what's going on. The mayor and this the stupid Klan rally. Why doesn't he just fix the problem and tell them they have to come back on another day? All the problems would go away, right? There'd be nothing for me to talk about. There'd be nothing for you to talk about. Why don't they reschedule it? I have no idea. I have no clue why they don't reschedule it. And then he comes out. And there's imaginary allegations or something of racism in the police department when he's always trying to save face with the black community by injuring his, his relations that are already pretty dicey with the police department. He's going to let the Klan change into the robes in the Justice Center parking garage. And he comes out and says that these, the man's insane. And perhaps he doesn't have enough distinction in his name. I don't know, Michael White sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? Maybe we ought to add a, an initial for distinction, something like Ferdinand Michael White. And then we could, we could call him F. Michael White. Sounds like a nice distinctive name, doesn't it? If you don't think so, just ask George Forbes. I think he'd agree.